Everyone, good morning. We are um, going to do our first virtual lesson in here. Um, it's going to be a start of a new module, and this is actually a lot of fun. So this is all about cryptography, about coding things, uh, hiding things so people can't steal your information. But before we get started, I want to go over kind of, um, I want to let you guys know how to use this room so that we uh, all are on the same page. You know how to talk to me, you know how to talk to the other students. Um, so three buttons on the bottom that you'll need to know. Uh, make sure you are muted if you're not speaking. So you want to see the slash through it. It'll also say unmute. Um, and then that's your video button down right next to it. So you can start or stop your video. I would love to see you um, as much as possible. And then we have the chat also. So when you click on that chat, it'll pop open to the side and you can type and I'll see it and your classmates will see it. And you can click it off too because it does make your screen a little smaller and it'll like blink if there's a new chat. So a few norms too, please no side conversations in that chat. You can definitely write something if it adds to whatever I'm saying, um, or if you have a question. And then stay on mute unless you're speaking. That just helps to keep you know, the distractions down. Um, do you remember that we can see you? <laughs> so you know, um, just be careful of what's in your background and stuff. If you do, I mean, I've got a dog that's probably gonna bark a few times. Um, I know you guys, you guys have, you know, your younger sisters, your younger brothers around. Um, cats like to jump, you know, on, I don't know what it is with cats, but they like to jump on, on screen all the time. So if there is something in your video that's distracting, you are more than welcome to turn off your video and then just turn it back on when you can. Um, if you have any questions, open up that chat, let me know. All right, so this is in the lead. So these are our, um, our top performers so far. Now, of course, it's not a race, but these three have been logging on consistently and going through the um, material. So excellent job, Adam, Kayla, and Sarah. <laughs> so this is what we're gonna do today. In class, we're going to, uh, we're gonna get through most of this um, lesson, I think, together. So in class, we're gonna do the video, but I'm gonna do it as slides. So we're not gonna watch the video, we'll just do it all together. And then we'll hop down and do some of the examples together as well. We're going to do the middle activity. We're kind of, you know, mixing things up here. So the middle activity you guys are going to do in groups. I'll put you in breakout rooms and you'll work on it together. And then after this, that quiz is going to kind of be like your exit ticket. So you'll go back to your assignment at the end of this, and that'll be how you can finish this lesson. So we're, we're kind of hopping around here. All right, so here is your beginning of class discussion. So we're going to start, we're going to get into cryptography, but we're going to um, talk about a puzzle that people do. It's, sometimes they call it crypto quotes. Um, they were in the newspapers, like back when people read newspapers. <laughs> but now there's a lot of these online too. So a cryptogram is a puzzle where they hide a phrase by replacing a letter with another one. So there's an example. It doesn't look like it says anything. Fids. So in the chat, and let's see if I can see the chat as well. I don't know how to see the chat when I'm sharing my screen, actually. I might have to pop it out. But let me know, what makes this kind of difficult? Go to your chat, and you know, I'm gonna just exit out and go, pop open my chat here. Chat. Okay, cool. So I can actually put this over here. All right, so go to your chat. Can you guys go to your chat? Is it working? What do you think makes this difficult to crack? Good, we don't know the code, right? We don't know the key. Sarah said we don't know which letters are replaced with what letters. Oh, that's a good um, insight, Adam, being a short phrase. And that actually leads to our next question. Being, you know, since this is short, that actually does kind of make it difficult, right? Because if it was longer, we might be able to use some strategies, right? Does anyone know any kind of strategies? Like if it's longer or any strategies that you might be able to use? And this one, just raise your hand. I'll call on you. Anyone? <laughs> All right, Adam, you can unmute. Trying to identify vowels and um just finding unique positions that those letters would be in. Yeah, very good. That would definitely help. Anyone else think something? If it was a little bit longer, it might be easier too. Sarah. Maybe we can think of words that, like I see Z, M, Z, so maybe a word we can think of that 
has like one letter the same, then a different letter and another and the same letter so that we can try to come up with a code that might work. Yeah, excellent. And I know um, uh, if this was longer, if there was just one single letter by itself, you know, like, and that's a word that can only be an I or an A, right? Because I think, right, there's nothing else. You would, you would think that they could only be an I or an A. So that might be a good way to start as well. But it is hard. All right, so here we're gonna try. Um, I might have to give you some hints because this is a little hard. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you a minute, see if you can figure it out. Um, Sarah had a really good um, idea with that middle word. So if you, if you can find that middle word, it'll help you with the last word. But don't write anything yet. At the end, oh, someone wrote it. Mike. <laughs> I wanna see if I can close this. Don't look at the chat. <laughs> I should have said that at the beginning. I should have told you not to do it. All right, well, don't look at the chat, but I guess uh, that sometimes you can delete um, messages, but I don't think I can here. All right, what I was gonna do is just gonna have you guys put it at one time. No, it's all right, it's all right, that was my fault. I should, I should have told you not to do it. <laughs> so the answer is, it stands for you did it. So the Zs are Ds, right? And then that helps you because now you know M's or I's. So if you have IP or, or I something, you can get that one. But it's still really hard, right? Um, so this is kind of like leads us into cryptography. Now, just so you know, um, I'm going to send you this, the, uh, these slides. You have them in your course. You do not have to take, um, you know, you don't have to write down all these notes. You don't have to take notes on what I'm saying here. I do think, though, that you should have a paper notebook of some sort, though. So I'm... The three main words that we're learning are cryptography, cryptanalysis, and cryptology. I do think you should absolutely write those down in a paper notebook. Even just the act of writing things down with your hand helps you remember it. <laughs> so at least this one, definitely write this down, but you don't have to take notes. You don't have to um, uh, write down everything on the screen because you'll have it in your course. All right, so cryptography graphy, is the practice of encoding information so only authorized people can read it. So I'll give you a little bit of time in case you're writing that down. And cryptography is used, um, I mean, it's been used forever. Uh, the, the next lesson is actually the history of cryptography, so I don't wanna jump ahead to the next one, but it's really, really cool, some of the stuff that um, people, you know, tons of years ago came up with. And now it is, it is really, really advanced, the kind of cryptography that we use. All right, um, like I said, you don't have to, um, Write all this down, so if, you, if you're not finished, we'll go back at the end. All right, so the need for secrecy. So why do we need secrecy in a digital world? What might we wanna protect? Answer this one in the chat. What do you think makes this important? What do we have to protect? I wonder if I could just bring this here, this might be good. Oh, good one, yes, classified info. Our information. What kind of uh, what kind of information do we use online? Like what kind of um, that we wouldn't want people to find out? Yeah, social security number, credit cards. Good job. I'm pretty sure credit card fraud is like one of the highest reoccurring type computer hack type thing. Yeah, even names and birthdays. That's actually birthday gift ideas. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like people would want to know that. You want people to know what you want, right? <laughs> but names and birthdays are good for identity theft. You don't want people to know your name, your birthday, your social security number. You don't want people to steal your identity. Excellent job. And your address. I mean, you don't want people knowing where you live. There's a lot out there that we want to hide. So things like credit cards, health records, um, bank accounts, passwords, all of that we have to protect so that people, you know, when we send an email, we don't want people to eavesdrop and see the email. All right, so the solution is cryptography. So in short, it's basically scrambling digital information into an unreadable form. And only those who are supposed to um, can unscramble it. So you usually need a password or a key, something like that. Um, just so you know, I mean, you can write this down if you want, but basically when we're talking about scrambling, when we're making it unreadable, that's encrypt. Sometimes we say encode. And then unscramble would be decrypt. So just know those, those difference. The encrypt is when you scramble it. Decrypt is when you unscramble it. All right, so here's kind of like a look of what you do, um, how, how this works. So you have some data. We can all read that, right? That's in very readable form. We can see it. And then you have a key, which is usually just a whole bunch of jumbled 
um, letters, numbers, something like that. You use both of them to encrypt the message. And then it turns into something that you can definitely not read. I mean, these aren't even all letters. They even use symbols here. And then decryption would just be going the opposite way. So there's a little bit of a difference here. See if you notice it. Did you guys see the flip flop? So the only thing that changed, it's hard to notice at first, but the only thing that changed was the encrypted message is over here. So when we decrypt, we take the, the, the scrambled message and the same key and we um, use them together to decrypt it so that you can read it. And the only way to do that is with the correct key, not just any key. All right, so here's your second vocabulary. So you wanna write this down as well. Cryptanalysis, now this, this is um, a position, a job that you can get, all right? There's a lot of cryptography um, careers that you can go into. And cryptanalysis is the process of decrypting coded messages without being told the key. So you might think, well, why, you know, this doesn't sound like it's something that you want to do. I mean, because we have the keys in place, but there's a lot of people who work in cryptography um, to try to crack things so that we can protect it. So basically like I would try to crack your code and if I can, I would tell you so that you could protect it better. So there are people who are paid to crack codes. And then cryptology, cryptology means the study of, so cryptology is the practice of solving and writing encryptions. So it's a little bit different, just a tiny bit different, but those three are um, the main words and the main vocabulary. And I'll come back to this if you didn't, I know you're writing it down, so I'm just stalling a little. <laughs> All right, so that is actually it for slides. The module that we're getting into is we're gonna get into the history, we're gonna get why encryption is important, and then we're gonna look into basic systems like the Caesar cipher, um, and then we'll actually get into advanced cryptology too, uh, crypto cryptography too, stuff that's actually used, like public keys. All right, so now you're gonna follow along with me. So I want you to go to your course, and you're gonna get to these two lessons. You're gonna get to the encrypt, decrypt, all right, it's, uh, well, in this one, it's 13.110, but it might be different in yours. Um, but just look for the one that says encrypt, decrypt, and I'm going to go to that as well. So it looks like this one. When you're there, just give me a thumbs up. And I know I probably should have told you in the beginning, but every time we do a virtual lesson, you're going to want to have your code HS just up and ready just in case we you know, want to pop to one of them. Cool. All right, so what you wanna do is you wanna hit run code. And this is kind of like a little simulation. So this is using a key, kind of a randomized key um, that we're gonna come up with to encrypt and decrypt something. So I'm gonna give you guys a challenge here. I'm going to encrypt something. And how are you? And I'm gonna pick a key. Now you won't be able to see my key. Now I'm gonna put this in the chat. What I want you to do is copy this and put it in here. And I'm gonna tell you that I did not make my key very secure. I made it very easy to guess. See if you can guess it. And don't put the answer in the chat. <laughs> if you can guess it, just, um, I don't know, put your hands up or something. <laughs> so copy that code, right, right here, put it in here. And now you want to guess my key. And if you can't guess it on your own, I'll give you a hint. All right, so the only hint right now is that I did not make a good key. I made it very kind of easy to guess. I'm thinking this will work. I'm actually not quite sure. <laughs> so we'll see. So you might try all of the all of the keys and it's still not work, but we'll see. All right, my other hand was my key was eight eight characters. 
right? Yes. So we'll see if this does work. It may just not because it's a simulation, but we'll see. All right, another hint is my key is another way of saying key, kind of. <laughs> I tried that. Oh, it's okay. So maybe it didn't work. I was gonna say I was gonna say it might just not transfer from one to the other. I tried it this morning and it did work, but it might be because I was on the same, or maybe I had used it already. Maybe if you try another one and give us access to type on your screen, then yes, I, I did that actually. That's, well, that's what made it work. I did like a share link, um, but it's okay. I just wanted to show you that it did work. Oh no. No, oh, that's okay. All right, so let me see if it works online. No, see, it doesn't work. All right, so it was password. <laughs> Did anyone try that one? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so it was password, and it looks like, I think it's just because um, it just works on, you know, it's just a simulation. It doesn't have a database or anything attached to it. But if I put password in mine, maybe I spelled it wrong. <laughs> oh, my goodness. How embarrassing would that be? Let's see. I did. I think I spelled it wrong. <laughs> so I did make it secure. I made it really secure. <laughs> you can't, can't, you can't guess it if it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. All right. So that one might work for you. Um, but we don't have to, we don't have to spend time on that. What I'm going to let you guys do now is something really fun. Um, if you go to the next one, so the next one is a crypto game, cryptogram game. We'll do one of these together. So you know how it's, how it goes. And then I'll give you guys five minutes to do this on your own. Um, so this is called, it's a, it's a cipher game. I'm going to open it in a new window. I think it just works better that way. And we're going to choose, when you get to this, you're going to choose decipher mode. And I mean, I guess it's up to you, but I'm going to go with this. <laughs> All right, we're going to do one together and then I'll give you five minutes to try some on your own. Now, the good thing with this, and someone brought this up when I was saying what makes it difficult. Um, if you don't have some sort of, lead in it does make it difficult so this kind of gives us a starting point so it comes as bills and coins what do you think this might be and this one you can just shout out money money yeah let's try well that helps us with this right what do you think this one might be i could be an i could be an i could be an let's see if i works the good thing with this is you can kind of guess and then this one, what's, I mean, that could be a T, it could be an F, right? Let me try F. Well, this one's hard. <laughs> Let's try and. No. All right, well, I'm not gonna give you the answer to this one. You're gonna go um, into your own. For five minutes, I'll give you guys five minutes and I'll come, um, I'll just pop back up here in, um, you know, I'll just tell you by voice to come back to the, um, the room. But you can definitely go ahead and do this for five minutes and see how far you can get. We'll see if anyone, we'll see what, what level everyone gets to.
about two minutes left. About 30 seconds, try to get that last one. All right, let's bring it back. How'd you guys do? Tell me in the chat, what, um, what level did you get up to? Stuck on five, I finally got four. <laughs> it took me forever. While you guys were in there, I just worked on four. <laughs> Was that one of them, <laughs> the Muffin Man? All right, I finally got four. So four got me because one of these was like poetry and that's not a word that I don't think I use all the time. All right, excellent. Those are tough, right? So, I mean, even just a simple, it's called a substitution cipher, even something as simple as that um, is, is very difficult to crack. Um, all right, what are we doing now? Let me get back over here. Oh, yes, okay. So we're gonna do a class activity now. So I'm actually gonna put you guys in breakout rooms and um, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do first before I do that. So um, the next section of our course, you guys are gonna kind of do together. So the next section of this lesson. So I'm gonna give you this link in chat because I know you can't click on it here, but I'm gonna show you what's gonna pop up when you do that. So I'm gonna put you guys in breakout rooms and um, you're gonna go to this chat. I'm sorry, this link. And where are you link? Oh, right here, I've got it open right here. It's gonna bring you to um, a Google Drive like this. So what you're going to do is whatever breakout room you're in, I'm going to, I'm going to put three of them. You're just going to click on your group's breakout. And then in there, you should all be able to write on this, but let me know if you can, I'll be hopping back and forth if I can from the breakout rooms. And then in here is just literally directions and you just have to find, you know, follow them. All right. Say hi to each other, write your names of the group. You're going to watch this video on your own because I think that works the best with like the bandwidth and stuff. And then you'll have some time to discuss, uh, discuss the questions and fill them in together. So we're actually doing something that's in CodeHS together. All right, we're doing um, the connection and the reflection that, that goes along with that. All right, so let me come back. I'm gonna stop sharing for a second because it's just easier to do breakout rooms like that. And I am going to set up there's three groups, right? Let me know if anyone has any questions. And let me put that link in there actually before I send you to breakout rooms. All right, click on this link. Let me know if anyone cannot see the three files. So I'll give you a second before I send you into breakout rooms for that. Okay, I saw a thumbs up, thank you. All right, so I'm gonna create breakout rooms now. So you're gonna work with probably a partner or maybe three of you and um, watch the video and then answer those three questions. I'll probably give you about 10 minutes to do that. The video is only two minutes long. Oh, I sent you to the file. Okay, hold on. Yep, you're right, I give you the wrong one. Thank you, okay, here's the folder. Okay, that should work. 
All right, so I'll give you a second. Everyone click on that link first. All right, and now I'll send you to some breakout rooms. Oh, it looks like it's just gonna be two breakout rooms. Adam, right now you're in one by yourself. I'm gonna move you. <laughs> Okay, good luck. I'll try to hop back and forth to um, see if I can um, help you guys. Okay, I'm actually gonna pause the recording here, I think, um, so that you're not just waiting for 10 minutes. But what you could do here as a teacher is um, you can grade a whole bunch of things, or you can actually go into each Google Doc and see the students working. Um, and depending on what you know virtual system you're using, you might be able to hop into the breakout rooms as well. All right, guys, welcome back. Don't forget to take um, you know like the, the answers that you guys came in, came up with. You can actually just copy that and paste it into your code HS, and then that's how you'll get credit for that assignment. All right, I've got one more activity for you. Um, and this one, you may not finish today. You might have to take this, um, you know, like almost like a take home type thing, um, but it is just gonna be bonus, but it's gonna be fun. So the last activity that we're doing today is we are going to make our own cryptogram basically, but we're gonna use emojis. So instead of using a, a letters, we're going to replace the letters with emojis. So let me show you how this works before I give you this link. Um, what I'll do is I'll put you guys again and you'll work with a partner or three. And what you're going to do is you're going to come up with, you might want to use like a piece of scratch paper. Um, you could either open up something on your computer. Um, you can use like a Google doc, like what I'm going to show you, or you can, um, you know, just write it on paper. So you're going to come up with a short phrase. Um, I would use all capitals just because it makes it easier to see the letters. This is a secret message. So we're going to do that. And I've given you a link and I'm gonna give you a link to um, different emojis. So what we're gonna do is you're going to come up with a secret message with your partner and you're gonna take these emojis and you're going to code it. So give it a second to load. Okay, here we go. So let me just pick up random one. So you can highlight it and copy it. And let's say this one is gonna replace all, well, there's only one T. Let's say um, just, just for, it's just so I can show you, it's going to replace all the S's. So you go to the S's, you delete them, and you put an emoji. Let me know if, if any of this does not make sense. All right, so when you're done with that, what we're going to do is we're going to share our emoji messages with each other and see if you can decode them. That's going to be your bonus. You're going to see if you can decode the message um, that your friends, that the other groups have come up with. So this is how we're going to share with each other. Once you get this done, we're gonna to go to a Padlet. All right, so here's a Padlet. Padlets are so much fun. So I'm gonna do the example. So right here it says, um, write your names first and you can comment on these. So this is teacher. I'm gonna write just teacher there. And then you're gonna put your message here. So make believe that I fully finished this out. Let me do one more just to show you. Let's say I've got heart eyes and I'll make heart eyes stand for all the A's. So I'll replace all A's with heart eyes. All right, so pretend that this is finished. <laughs> and what we're gonna do is you're gonna copy that. All right, you can use um, control C or you can just do the copy button here. And you're gonna put it in here. Give it a second. Oh, it's frozen, there it is. All right, don't worry about the title, just put it in there. And the cool thing is, is you guys can see everything. Like if, you, if when you go to this, you'll see what I just put in there. And then what we'll do along the week is you can either answer it if you figured it out, or you can give like, give me a hint. Whoops, don't scream. Let's get un, not, not uppercase. Give me a hint. All right, and you can comment to each other. So you can say heart eyes equals, like this is your hint. What was heart eyes? Were, were they A's? A's. So this is what we'll do, all right? So what you're doing is you're gonna go to um, that link, this Padlet link. I'm gonna give it to you in the chat. Let me know if it does not work for anyone. And now I gotta find the chat again. I gotta stop sharing. All right, 
There's your Padlet link. Let me know if it works. Okay, cool. And then I'm gonna put you guys back in breakout rooms. So you're gonna come up with a secret phrase. Um, let me give you the emoji link too. You can get emojis from anywhere, but this link I think makes it easiest. All right, and you're gonna work with your partner to come up with a phrase. Um, of course, reach out to me if you have any questions or if you're stuck on anything. And before I let you guys go, because this is gonna be it, this will be it, um, I'll give you guys uh, 10 minutes to do this and then I'll just let you guys go. So don't forget after this, go back to your quiz. All right, that's kind of like your exit ticket. Make sure you complete that. So your quiz and then your bonus is to crack the code on one of these padlets. Does anyone have any questions? All right, I'm gonna put you guys in break rooms again, and then that's gonna be the end of the lesson. So I will see you guys next week. Of course, you know, just continue to email me and um, let me know if you need help with anything. All right, I'll send you guys to breakout rooms. I'll see you guys next week.